Hey YouTubers and model community, this is Mario Cosby coming at you with another, I guess, update. Um, what I'm doing is getting ready to build this 69 Flues Camaro. But I wanted to show you the goodies, I guess you can call them, that I picked up for an idea that I'm thinking about doing with this Flues Camaro. Um, I'm not using none of the wheels on here. Um, I am going to use the engine that comes in it. Um, I guess you can call it the long block. But what I'm doing is um, I bought this kit from Scale from Big uh, from um, Scale Motorsports. And let me see if you can see that right there. Uh, back out a little. And what it is, it's the wheel kit for the 2010 Revell Mustang GT500. So here it is right here, it's a very nice kit. Uh, it comes with the center, the outer ring which is aluminum, and then it comes with the, uh, doesn't come with the uh, rear portion of the, or the back portion of the, the wheel. Uh, what I had to do was buy the kit again, third time, and uh, use that and the tires out of that kit but it does come with all the hardware let's see how well you can see that that's the center uh, the center cap right there um, right here on this photo etched part these parts here go right on the outside um, of that cap uh, comes with all the brake rotors um, here's comes with the I mean, um, brake calibers. Here's the rotors. It comes with the rotors. Um, and here's the rest of the the. Um, let me back out a little here with the backup um, with the rest of the rotors, the photo etched uh, rotor parts, um, and various other parts that come with it. Uh, all the mounting brackets for the calibers, right down there. And um, then it comes uh, like with here. It's got a lot of all these little parts there. They're they're bolt heads and um, nut heads uh, that you can simulate nuts and bolts with. Um, and then it comes with the complete instruction assembly there. It tells you how to put this whole package together. And then on the other side, it gives you. Just like uh, any photo etch uh, part uh, that you order, it gives you the list of names and uh, the cars corresponding part number and where it all goes to on the model. So that's what I'm doing with that. And what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a couple of jack stands and paint them, and I'm gonna leave the two wheels off, uh, probably on the left or right side. I'm not sure on the driver's side or passenger side. I'm going to be leaving the front wheel off and the back wheel off. Uh, just showing the brake detail. That's I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, it's going to look pretty cool. And then I'm using the stock engine out of it. But what I did was uh, I ordered from uh, TDR uh, Innovations. I ordered this tune port fuel injection manifold kit. There's the here's the plenum these are the plenum, plenum uh, runners and then that's the manifold on the bottom there you see they come off um, comes with a distributor it's a it's the uh, DIS ignition it comes with the throttle body which is my fingers are in the way but that's the throttle body this is the back part that goes on top of the distributor it covers the distributor wires and um, here's the um, intake. Um, no, it's not the intake. That's the that's the uh, outlet, the water outlet for the, uh, with the order thermostat housing outlet. Then I bought these little uh, 90 degree um, spark plug boots that will go right on top of this uh, distributor. Um, it's not glued in, but excuse me for the uh, 
the for me messing up there but it they got little nipples on the end there that indicate where the plug wires go and those boots will go right on top of that and then I'll insert the wires into the boots so that's going to be pretty interesting and then I wanted the engine to mimic the uh, the, uh, the the later model uh, 305 and 350s and the later model tune port fuel injection engines, especially the 350s came with these came with these valve cover gas uh, came with these valve covers and they had a couple of bolts on each end of the valve cover on top here on top that uh, you, you know you snug the bolts down and that uh, made the seal on the uh, head itself with the gasket so uh, not sure what color I'm going to paint these I want to paint I want to paint these intake runners well I think I'm gonna leave the intake runners silver but I want to take I want to paint the plenum I'm not sure what color to paint the plenum I was thinking about gloss black and the intake gloss back the 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 the, the runner silver and I was going to I was going to paint the valve covers a semi gloss black hypothetically I'm not sure the block is going to be orange going to be Chevy orange uh, the later model GM uh, V8s uh, the cast iron blocks uh, were black and then they went to all aluminum so that's where I'm at just wanted to give you a little quick update to that uh, before I start work on it and it's been a couple of weeks since I've done an update um, if anybody got any suggestions I'm trying to figure out what color to paint this center wheel um, I'm thinking with the Camaro I was thinking about painting it candy apple red with black stripes I like the black on this Camaro the Fluce Camaro and then you know with the orange stripes that come with them um, they're pretty cool but a black car I'm not too happy about a black car so that's the color I'm thinking with a tan interior um, and then with all the work done to the wheels and the brakes and the engine I think that I think that's gonna look caught sort of awesome with you know with the steel braided uh, hoses and you know all the all the wiring detail all the, and all the detail to uh, to the engine bay I think it's gonna look pretty cool uh, but basically I was going to keep it box stock I was going to bring the uh, I was going to bring the fender wells up to about the top of, of the wheel itself um, somewhere in that area I was going to get the I was going to get it low just don't know how low I'm going to get it we'll see when I cross that path or when I cross that bridge um, right now I'm back at work so it's been uh, pretty hard for me to get down here in the man cave and start uh, doing some work on uh, on a model it's been really really hard uh, I haven't started nothing in two weeks I just pulled this stuff out just to see how I'm going to do it and which way I'm going with it and then of course to give a quick update to uh, to the model community here on YouTube and I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers I really really appreciate uh, you subscribing to my channel uh, I'm glad that everyone's liking the builds and again uh, I appreciate all your inputs and again if anybody got any idea on uh, what color to paint this center I was thinking about the original color which I think was like a semi gloss or a matte black color I think it was or a dark grayish color I believe the original thrust wheel was I think it's a thrust wheel and then I was going to paint the calibers a uh, flat red or matte or matte red um, so that's where I'm at um, Duplicolor makes a chrome black for the wheels. Uh, it's a process. I think it's a two-stage process that you have to, you know, you buy the kit. The kit's like twenty or twenty-five dollars, and it produces a chrome finish or a chrome black finish to the wheels. I was thinking about doing that, uh, but at this point, I'm trying to keep it in the era of '60s and '70s. So um, 
that's where I'm trying to go with 